Okay, so it is Saturday morning again. <laughs> I'm on a scouting trip this time. I mean, not a scouting trip, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna look at a trail first and kind of see how it works. Okay, so Spring Hollow Campground. And I guess you can go straight and go one, one direction up the loop, or you can go to the right. And the guys at work are telling me, go to the right, because if you're kind of going against the grain, it's a, it's a better hike. So we're gonna see. Or excuse me, go to the left. How about we go to the left? Let's try that one. All right, so here we go. This joins in with this Riverside Nature Trail here for a mile or so. We'll see what that brings. That's something I love about the canyon. We just, I mean, the views are amazing. Even if you're, even if you're the river, the views are just gorgeous. I wish cameras could really do it justice. to gain some altitude here <laughs> here we go so I'm starting to pass people um, this way right which is to be expected it's Memorial Day weekend and I couldn't find a parking spot I had to park across the street for crying out loud so this is gonna be busy but more and more people with DSLRs coming and I just brought I brought my iPad as a backup and using my iPhone here but uh, maybe next time I bring Jen and Maggie and whoever else wants to come up, um, we might start packing the DSLR. See what, what we can take that way. But even without, man, it's just pretty right now. So we went up a ways. <laughs> and now the trail's right back down to the river. It's not the right direction. We're supposed to be going high, right? Oh, well, maybe it's, just, it's a teaser. It's a teaser. So a quick shout out to Ellie. Ellie, uh, we've been on this part of the trail before. <laughs> Ellie's never seen a rock she hasn't tried to climb. So I remember her trying to scale the side of this thing, freaking us all out when she was a little bit younger. Anyway, kind of a blast, blast from the past. And this is where it's gotta begin, right? They put stairs in here. Okay, <laughs> that looks like it's going up. Yeah, time, time for the leg workout to start. <laughs> Watch for falling rocks. Okay, all right, stay on trail. You got it. Enough said. It's kind of a fun bridge coming up. Holy smokes! <laughs> Talk about uh, falling rocks. <laughs> Some part of this bridge doesn't look like the rest of this bridge. <laughs> uh, came from uh, apparently came from up there. I don't know if you can see because of all the sun, the sun glare, but huh. Okay, hiking in Logan Canyon. Yeesh. Yeah, that just doesn't look very healthy. <laughs> Get it from this side. Okay, so uh, note to self, keep your head up. The rest of this area is serene though. You just keep walking. You know, the river right there and, gosh, love it. That's where I'm going. So we're heading back down for some reason. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's pretty. Made it to the other side of the Riverside Nature Trail, so I guess maybe we can get that trail off of our list, I guess. And the official trail, I guess, starts for Crimson Trail. So, three miles back to the car. Looks like we got some uphill. Just give you a sense of what this is like right now. We're going vertical, so I'm trying to hold the phone level, and then I'll tip it up. Yeah, I can see where we're at, so <laughs> we're getting altitude fast. So one of the reasons why they told me to go the back, the backwards route um, is for this spot right here. It goes so vertical so fast. He said it's honestly for him anyway. He's like an uber hiker, but he said for him, he'd rather take the, the steep hill going up rather than the steep hill going down. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I may have some thoughts about that by the time they're all said and done. <laughs> Ooh, I'm 
taking a breather. <laughs> uh, a well-deserved one for me. I'm out of shape. Uh, so you can see behind me the retaining walls that they put into place when we just kind of use them as stairs. Um, wow, it's steep. It's gonna make the view on the top all that much better though, right? <laughs> if we can survive that long. It's one step, and then the next step. <laughs> So I'm just taking a little bit of a sit down break here. Um, I took a screenshot of, uh, of the trail uh, on, uh, I think it's called All Trails, I think is the name of the app. Um, probably about a third of the way through, but it shows uh, we've got a couple more switchbacks that are gonna be coming up here. So um, I'll just kind of count them off and keep this thing rolling. So I got out of the trees and the canyon opened up and uh, oh my gosh, you guys gotta check this out. We'll try this panoramic idea and see if it works. It probably won't, but, but we'll see. Anyway, so I came from there, and then that's showing across the canyon. Those big rocks over there, that's a wind cave. So about halfway up to the wind cave hike. And, and then the mouth of the canyon goes over there. Gosh, it's just pretty. And then the farther that we go this way, see those cliffs up there? That's where we're headed. So again, about halfway there, um, I met some hikers just a minute or two ago and they said that uh, this is definitely the harder, harder in the beginning, but it's pretty easy going back down to the camp. So higher to the, where the car is, so yeah, that camp down now, down about over there where the road is. So we'll see how well it goes. But gosh, I just had to stop and take this in. Of course, not because I'm tired, just because I had to stop and take this in, right? <laughs> Flowers show up pretty well. Okay, switch back number one. I'm looking down while I'm walking, I this thing pops out to me. Piece of petrified wood. It's very cool. It's, yeah, neat. Okay. Huh. Number two. I'm just taken with these flowers. I saw them and just anyway, really neat. Oh. In an altitude. Okay, back into the shade. Uh, I'm gonna take a minute and just kind of let, let my body just kind of adapt here for a minute. I got some pretty shaky legs. That's a long hill to get up here, and, and we're probably three quarters of the way up right now. Uh, so that's good. And what the other hikers are telling me on their way down is uh, that once I get, you know, past the China Wall up there, it just it smooths out. It'll be a pretty easy walk back down to the car so definitely doing the hard part first look at that I'm here just where the trail is turning oh my goodness this is pretty I say that a lot but every time you turn a corner it's like oh my gosh look at that dude. it's just kind of something notable here I just there's a uh, where I'm taking this picture from is a little bit of an outcropping, and uh, it goes pretty darn vertical pretty fast. So, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 feet down to the ground there. But, that is not, that is not the trail. I just stepped off to let some hikers by and take a quick snapshot. So, okay, back on the trail. We're almost there. We're getting pretty darn close to the top. This is just incredible. Oh, this is opening up right now. Oh, you need some flat, some flat trail too. Let yourself take a breather from all the climbing. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Top 
top of the canyon. My goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. This does not do it justice. <sighs> Maybe a better photographer could do this, better videographer. But oh, wow. This is amazing. This is majestic. Look at the trees are all the way down there. Holy smokes. <laughs> as we just go around the corner a little farther away from the edge now but that's amazing wow uh, <laughs> uh, this is just so high that's amazing. I gotta admit, honestly, we are so high and we are so close to the edge up here. It's getting me a little, um, it's a little intimidating, honestly. So that's something else. I just keep, keep thinking about <laughs> the trail. <laughs> Definitely a good, uh, I mean, what an amazing experience though. Like you're up here so, so high. Uh, and you can kind of see where uh, those people behind me, kind of where how close the trail goes to the the edges. I mean, you're not you're not gonna fall over the edge, but, uh, but you're close enough that uh, you're close enough that it's it raise your blood pressure just a little bit. <laughs> I honestly really wish I had a drone. This would be the perfect spot to just kind of put a drone over to get the scope of it. Um, this is just it's just so massive. <laughs> it's really something else. It's a whole different scale from looking at it at, down at the road. Yeah, I just kind of want to get the scope of where, where the trail goes, right? Whew. Oh, and then those trees are just so far down. But as you're walking, though, I mean, this is kind of the trail, and you feel like, you feel pretty solid over in this area where it just doesn't you don't feel like you need how close that you really are. So, yeah, totally get a better feel for why people carry those DSLRs. You earn your way up here. This is a, <laughs> this is not just something that you go and do. I mean, it says intermediate hike. I, I miss, I misrepresented. I, I was thinking I was, uh, this probably wasn't gonna be as difficult as, as it is, but it's a serious vertical climb. Oh, something else, but, but gosh, these vistas are really something. I'm trying to get the right angle here to, to see, but. Um, yeah, you, you're high. Where if you look across, um, see if I can aim it behind me here. Look across over there, I think that's where it is. There, um, that's a wind cave. So you're just, you're right across the, the valley from where the wind caves are. So, it's neat, neat. <laughs> Been maybe watching too many videos lately, but that's just like man from Snowy River Cliff. It's like, <laughs> there's the edge. Crevices on the way down. Oh, it's kind of one of those, one of those times where it's a good reminder of, I mean, another advantage of hiking with, you know, <laughs> with partners because, uh, I mean, for the, the picture side of it, for the safety side of it, for the, I mean, reportability, emergency side of it, I mean, there's so much, so much advantage to that. Looks like we've got a, a mountain biker up here. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if mountain bikes were allowed. I guess they are. And more and more and more flowers. It's more of a trail that I've already kind of gone by <laughs> and we'll continue the loop. Man, that was amazing.
There's the wind caves. He's kind of looking right across the canyon, right at him here. Let me zoom out. Pretty level. see where the trail is. Again, I'm just expecting this amazing, amazing views. And just a little smidge of Cache Valley that you can see. Does feel good to be going back downhill <laughs> in a big, big, big way. My legs are thanking me. <laughs> I know more rock walls. <laughs> trying, trying to capture just how big they are. Uh, super, super hard to do. I know. I get it. I'm just gonna keep taking them anyway, though, just because they're just uh, incredible. Turn the corner, look down, and it's the first shot I have got on the suburban. See how far this will zoom in. You can't even really see it with this zoom, but second car from the back. That's me. Noticing on this side of the trail, there are tons more hikers because <laughs> it's not quite so vertical, I'm guessing. So. Flowers are just all over the place on this side of the mountain. I mean, they're everywhere. It's just carpeted with them. Okay. Well, I'm just about out of battery on my phone because of all of the filming on the way up. So. Uh, I'm definitely on the way down right now. It's just a bunch of switchbacks and the Suburban's looking a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Uh, a lot more hikers coming up this way right now. Um, I'm about two hours into it. We'll see how long it takes to get back down to the, to the Suburban. But we're just switching back. So a lot easier to, to switch back going down than going up. So we have this all in bloom and then Look down here, and that's just all in here too. Okay, I think it says we made it. Yes. <laughs> all right. Crimson Trail. Now we're just uh, walking back to the car. We'll see how we get back to the car. <laughs> No, the trail from here it goes from uh, it goes from from stone to to uh, more of just the ground. So, all right, just about done. Okay, made it to the bridge, and there's that beautiful suburban. <laughs> We're all the way through it. We finished up the hike.
Okay, we're there. So what did I get from it? So what I what I found was um, on a scouting trip where you're just kind of checking it all out for somebody else, I'm kind of taking a first look at it. Uh, if you have a friend who's really into hiking and they say, oh yeah, you just got to go up a hill and then it's a straight shot over. Um, <laughs> you, you need to make sure you qualify that because that was not just a hill. Man, that just that almost did me in. Um, when when you get to the top, oh my goodness, it was just absolutely beautiful. So it was it was worth it at the top, but yeah, you earned it. Um, step number, well, and the, the lesson that I learned, lesson number two is that um, it's, uh, you really need to have boots. So I have these great little Nike sneakers and they're awesome and they've, they've done the job. My feet are really hurting though and boots would be a much better idea. Don't have them, need to get them. And third, um, I don't care. I, I, you may feel a little bit differently, but for me, um, hiking alone is, is still hiking alone. I, it's so much fun if you have somebody else. If I've got mags right next to me and we're just going exploring together, you have somebody to share that with. Or if I've got Jen or any of the kids or anybody else who wants to go, um, it, you, there's two of you who can tell the story. <laughs> and so um, the, the pictures in this don't, just don't do it justice. The magnitude of, of some of these rocks and how high you are, uh, it's really something else. As far as the, the trail itself, there was probably two two little spots of about 10 feet that were, um, I, I, I really had to focus on the trail <laughs> because it was like the trail and then we have a hundred foot drop right there at least. Um, so uh, one of those spots, I actually, uh, you know, just touched the foliage on, on the mountain going on the other side of the trail, just, just to make sure that I had, you know, could study myself. It was, it was pretty intimidating. For me, a junior hiker who's not very good at this and is still just trying to start figuring it all out. So, um, so there, those are my reflections. It's time to go home and put on my dad hat again and I've got uh, you know I've got grass waiting for me and we're planting and doing landscaping and all, all that other kind of dad life stuff so but thanks for coming along with me uh, on, on this the Crimson Trail in Logan Canyon um, it, just a, an amazing experience I, I think Maggie is great I probably wouldn't go any younger than you know about 12 or 13 for a responsible kid that you <laughs> that you you know, uh, you know, isn't gonna, you know, just start running around. So uh, that, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, with that, everybody have a great day. Um, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.